All right, got a couple jobs on the agenda. One of them is my Z425 John Deere zero turn mower flew apart the last time I was mowing. Um, I had bought it in an auction and it did well for me, but it finally kicked the bucket. So I ordered a new motor. It just came yesterday. My old motor was a 445577-0122-E1. And I couldn't really even find anything on the internet about that motor. But basically, the motor that I needed to replace it is this motor here. And it is 44S977-0032G1. I gotta un unbox this one and check it out and make sure everything's okay with it. And then we'll be putting it together. Here's the old engine. As you can see, that hole right there is not supposed to be there. So yeah, the critical parts of the motor that have to transfer is obviously your hole patterns and your um, shaft size. For future reference, in case you have a problem with your motor and you're looking for the model of your motor, the model numbers are right here usually on these Briggs motors on the valve cover and so they're not stamping them as much into them. Those are really light. I don't know if you can even see them. But on this older one, it's on the other side right now, but um, they were stamped in there. So they didn't, they were pretty easy to find once you knew where to look. Yeah, right there. So that's the old motor number. And then this is the new one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be transferring, oh shoot, some oil's coming out again. I'm going to be transferring between the exhaust pipes and possibly a few of the um, like the throttle assembly. This new motor has an automatic um, choke, so I don't think I'm going to transfer that right now. I think I'm just going to see how the auto automatic choke works, but for now, yeah, I'm going to work on getting these pipes switched over and see what else I need to do. Barn. It's yeah. not a good sign. It's like the cats have been eating it. Oh, I understand. Gross. That's nasty. Can you throw it in, in the pasture? Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, get it. Or on the field would even be better. Yeah. All this bolts on is you got three bolts that come in from the bottom here. One, two, three, that holds the motor on. And then this one here actually is a bolt that goes through and then a nut on the top and a couple of these, uh, couple of these battery connections go onto that bolt. So we're gonna get these tightened up and then do whatever's next these here I, I started with a tap I did tap them lightly before I put the motor on here just to make sure these bolts get a good start but I don't think you're actually supposed to tap them at all the, the bolts just um, just make their own path through the, the aluminum it's pretty soft The motor bolted in. I hooked up a few of the, the wires, the connectors. 
I think the motor comes with no oil, so I'm gonna have to put oil in, obviously, before I test it. Next, I'm gonna hook up the electronic clutch to the shaft and the pulley that I believe goes above it. And then once we get it all hooked up and get everything together and get some oil in it, I'll probably start the engine and make sure everything works okay so I don't get it all back together and find out there's a problem. All right, we're gonna fire it up before we get everything back together and make sure it runs and there's no major problems. Just put oil in. We actually turned the key and it did turn just a little bit, so I think we'll give it a shot. <laughs> It's gonna be a little loud too because the muffler's not on yet. good I'm going to double check the oil before I just keep running it and finish putting everything back together and then get the muffler on there and see how it does got the muffler back on and so we're going to start it up and just see if it's quieted down since we got that on there. Beautiful! Beautiful. Wouldn't you say? Yes. Beautiful. It's hot too. Beautiful and hot. We're putting the guards back on right now. And up to this point, it has been so simple. This new motor has basically just fit like a glove and just went right together. So I am very happy with the outcome so far. So we got the guards back on, we got the motor all bolted down, all the wiring right. We've tested it. The only thing that's yet to do is somehow I am missing one nut, which is not a bad scenario considering, but I have to find that or find one that will work for that because it goes right here and it holds the side of this tight. It's not a huge deal, but we definitely want to put a nut on there. So I'm just going to look around and see if I can find it. Okay.
boxes. The ducks have started laying eggs. So we figure the chickens are getting about the age where they're going to start laying as well. So we want to have the nesting boxes ready. So we ordered this, it's almost like AstroTurf offline. Let's see if I can get in here real quick. So here's what we got. I don't know if you can see it up close. It looks kind of like grass. It's got um, padding on the back. It's supposed to be pretty good. You should be able to spray it off or beat, you know, shake it out or whatever, beat it on the side of the building or whatever you need to do to get the stuff off of it. We figure we're going to put a little bit of straw on top of it as well to make it a little more um, padded and soft for the chickens to lay in. So the next thing we need to do is get in these nesting boxes and empty them out. And Manuel got out the uh, mealworms that the ducks like, so that's why they're quacking really loud right now. So here's what the inside of the nesting boxes look like. If you can see that, they're just pretty empty. We do still have the board up on the inside. We'll be taking that off um, as soon as we get the nest box ready, the nesting box ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna measure, cut them and stick them in there. So here we go. Okay, here, so if we like every morning we can check so we if we're not tall enough we can step on, step on it. See. That's what you call a lucky guess. I just kind of measured it and cut it and I'll go ahead and do all four of them. We'll be back in a minute. on it and your daddy won't be happy. It's not real grass. That they're gonna do, they're gonna peek around that little corner right there. We should make him one of those. Do you need some grass in your dog house? You'd probably scratch this off though. So, if you remember from our chicken build, this is what we put up just to keep it covered because we knew that they would just get in there and just make a mess in there. We decided even though they haven't laid any eggs, we're gonna go ahead and open these boxes up just because it's fun. And we wanna see what they do. Maybe they'll get the idea to lay an egg. You need to put a duck egg in there. Maybe they'll think it's a chicken egg. And then they'll yeah, Maybe they'll think they're ducks. Maybe they'll think they're ducks. Ducks think they're chickens. Yeah. Think they're ducks. Let me see it. What'd you find? I didn't find it. It's messing in its head, but. Good straw, man. Well, chicken's we'll that probably still eating. Oh, yeah. What'd you get, Zachary? Such a big box. Not even like. Something that. You know what it is? Gun vice is what it says. The gun vice. What does that Hold mean? Hold my gun. To hold your guns? Yep, so and I'm working on them. Well, this is mainly so when I put scopes on my guns that I can keep them level. Oh, it holds them and then yeah, it scopes on Yeah, it's really nice to work on the rifle. I think 
it's good to go? Yeah. And with it, with it being the motor, it came with the starter and everything attached to it. Right, it came complete. Only thing I had to switch was the exhaust and if I wanted the manual choke, which I didn't. I like the auto choke for now. I would like to personally thank, if I could, OPE Engines. They're the ones that I got the engine from. And what was crazy was I ordered it and within an hour they called me to verify that I had the right motor, replacement motor, because there's so many different model numbers. I did have the right motor, but they just verified it and chatted with me. And then within a week, the motor came and it was literally just a swap out and we're mowing again. Layla, what's you doing, Layla? I'm gonna duck. Huh? I'm gonna put a duck egg in there. We're gonna try to trick the chickens into laying some eggs. Wait, not yet, not well, yet. I don't know, decisions, decisions. Um, what are you gonna do? Where is it? You want to put it in the right one. Oh, is that the right one? It has <laughs> it, but I'll put it in this one too. I don't this care. Is the one that There's no right or wrong. But they're going. Okay. I think that's going to do the trick. They've never laid an egg yet. Yeah. Little chickies. Are you going to lay an egg for us? I can't wait to see what they do. If they don't lay an egg, I know box. what you should do. What? Squeeze them. Pepper in their water. And what? Is that salt. what they say? Yeah, the guy says if you put a, like a pinch of salt and pepper in it, it'll, they'll Who think it's that? summer. Only, a guy on a video. Yeah, it is summer though. When it's winter. Yeah, it's summer right now. So. Oh, you could just put it. Right.